Hey guys, this is Ray. I'm just giving you guys uh, an update on um, what I've been doing as far as my nutrition, uh, going to the gym and uh, my wrist injury and as such. Uh, I've been going to therapy. Um, my wrist is probably 95% there. Um, it's, it's well enough that I can start using free weights again. Um, because I've been using a lot of bench press and a lot of machines while my wrist was healing. So now that, you know, things are on the mend, uh, the last two weeks I've been using free weights and I've lost some strength as I expected um, but not too much um, I think my arms have gotten a little smaller though I think I've gained some you know uh, some mass on my chest um, starting next week I'm going to take weekly measurements I'm not really going to weigh myself I, well, I probably should but I'm going to take measurements of my thighs, my waist, my chest, my arms, and my shoulders starting next week, just to start documenting my progress, my progress more, um, and and really see what needs more attention than you know something else on a weekly basis. Um, another thing I started doing is I started doing push-ups again two weeks ago. Now, calm down. Take it easy. Now, I've noticed that... Stop. I've noticed that um, I've gained a little fat around the midsection. And that's probably a combination of three things. That... Hold on. Yo, take it. Stop. Take it. It's a combination of three things. It's a combination of me not really doing uh, core exercises. Um, combination of me eating a lot more foods. I've been adding little bits of cheese uh, to my diet every couple of days. Um, and bread every couple of days. I, though I regret eating the bread sometimes because I'm still having troubles uh, digesting it properly. But I'm good with rice, I'm good with brown rice, um, and then I'm good with potatoes. But anything that's flour based, whether it's pasta or bread or a muffin, um, rye bread, I seem to be okay with. But anything other than that, I usually suffer for a good two, three days. Um, but uh, anyways, I've been eating a, a bit more food. I haven't been doing my core exercises, though I never really did core. I did it um, in conjunction with my workouts, but I used to do a lot of push-ups and then crunches while you know in between sets and I haven't been doing the push-ups which means I haven't been doing the crunches so I've gained a little weight around my midsection another thing uh, that I need to think about is um, a nutritionist told me that I might be taking too much DHEA and too much of it can add fat to your stomach I don't know how much of that um, to believe in though she does study this you know, I should take a word for it. And I, you know, it would make sense. I've gained this much. Well, to me, it's a lot. You know, uh, uh, the, the chunky around my midsection. It's a lot for me. So other people, it might be, yeah, whatever. But to me, you know, I'm not happy with it. So I've stopped taking DHEA about two, two and a half weeks ago. I'm letting it completely purge out of my system. Starting in July, I'm going to take half the dosage that I was taking. Before, I was taking 200 milligrams a day. Um, I'm going to start taking 100 milligrams a day starting July, you know, and, and see what happens with that. I like the effects of it. I like how it makes me feel. I like the energy. I like some of the, the properties of, um, my body healing uh, faster, not getting as tired. But, um, yeah, like recently I've, I've had, been having the hardest time waking up in the morning. I just don't have the energy, I don't have energy at work. Though I hate my fucking job, so that's whatever. But um Yeah, I, I definitely notice there's there's a difference. I've noticed there's a, a slight difference in the gym too, where I'm getting tired a lot faster. I don't have the strength to do some of this stuff. Though I am getting stronger. I'm able to do some of the crazy core exercises I was doing when I was uh younger, as far as like grabbing on the bar and putting my legs all the way up and going upside down and kind of like a gymnastical, you know, swinging bar shit 
but I'm almost to the point where I can start doing that again. Uh, so I'm happy about that. I just need to do something, you know, uh, uh, about this tire. But I'm going to, I have been doing push-ups, not almost every day. I've been lazy because I haven't had the energy. But um, I'm going to do 100 in the morning like I used to. I'm going to do 100 at night in between probably, well, not in the morning. I won't do I have a core workout in the morning. But at night, I'll do a core uh, workout and push a little harder in the gym to get rid of this. And like I said before, I'm going to start taking measurements um, just to document my progress. I've been documenting my uh, protein in intake. Not every day, not religiously, because sometimes work is just too crazy. But there's an app on my phone. Uh, it's called Protein Tracker. It's a free download on uh, Apple. I'm sure they have it on Google Play too. But basically you, you, um, you plug in the foods that you usually eat, like chicken breast or eggs or have such or have such. Now it requires a little bit of research to really document how many grams of protein. But once you have all those things plugged into your phone, you sit down for breakfast. Like for breakfast, uh, while I'm at work, I eat three eggs. While I'm at home, I eat about six or seven. But at work, I eat three eggs. Three eggs is roughly, you know, normal size eggs are roughly 18 grams for three eggs. Probably a little more if you're using extra large. But, you know, as a, uh, as a guide, like, it's not absolute. So don't take it as, oh my God, it's 12.2. No, don't fucking think stupid shit like that you know I have three eggs I, I always have uh, onion pepper and um, tomato and spinach uh, that's roughly 18 grams uh, and an ounce chicken breast is about 25 grams I've got chicken breast in there I have chicken thighs in there which are 16 grams then I have protein bar and have such and have such I mean just read some labels hold on so just do a little research you track that and it helps kind of you know keep you on the narrow where you might need to eat an extra meal or you might need to eat a protein bar just to meet a, a standard protein intake or you know protein shake or, or have such I've stopped eating or I've stopped using protein shakes I don't know if it's if it was in conjunction with the food I was eating or if it was just um, uh, the protein shake itself, but I started feeling really bloated, um, and it kind of uh, takes away from my appetite. So I've stopped using it for now. I'm good with protein bars, but you know, I'm I'm still going through some changes, um, phys physiology wise. So once I have, you know, a better idea of what, what's really going on, then I can start eating or consuming, you know, certain things in more abundance. But right now, I just keep it to real food. Um, I don't use too many protein bars. Um, and if I do, I use the Metarex. I like the, uh, what is it, the cookie and cream. It's, it's pretty good, pretty decent flavor, 32 grams, you know. Usually you can find them at like CVS or 7-Eleven, two for five. So I mean, it's not bad for like in between, you know, snack or late night when you want something or you need something, you need to cap yourself off, you eat a protein bar, so it's, it's not that bad. So I think it's pretty good value. If you can get them at, at like Target or Walgreens or, yeah, Walgreens or Walmart for cheaper, you get like a box, then I'd say go for it. But um, yeah, that was just a, a quick recap of what I've been up to. Um, still working out still eating um, it's just you know I had an injury that I needed to deal with and I've talked to two people about being a training partner uh, at the gym so I can start filming our workouts so I'll let you know how that goes if they're interested if they're not interested um, even if I have to you know get someone just to, to film you know a few little things to show you guys what I'm doing uh, give you guys maybe an idea of what you could be doing things I'm doing wrong you might have some advice about you know whatever you know this isn't about ego it's all about you know documentation sharing and improving ourselves so um thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time